for Bruce, great series of jumps, two 821s and an 820 and a bit stiff. Yeah, it was good. I mean, I just I didn't have the pop today. I mean, I just couldn't get one out there like I wanted to. Um, but in, all in all, it's, it was pretty good. And Australia finishing third and fourth. That's never happened in a world championship. So fantastic result for the country. Yeah, it's a great result for, for the boys and um, the country. But um, I think things can get even better next year and the years to come. It's a bit ironic that um, Mitchell you know, came back to competing because of you. Watched you, uh, you know, compete on the Gold Coast before the Olympics. Watched you at the Games and said, I want to be there. <laughs> I, I didn't know that. But yeah, um, he's a great jumper. So he deserves everything he's gotten. What about what's next for you? Obviously, you know you know you can jump that far, and you're still young, and there's a lot of upside. Yeah, I'll be back. Um, world champ, so uh, 2011, and then London 012. I mean 2012. Um, and I'll, I'll come off again the next year, of course. But uh, right now, I've got the rest of the season, the European season. I just keep doing that, and then get ready for next year. Is it frustrating when you're out there and you're so close, and you know even your last jump was big? It looked like it might have been enough. Do you do you, do you come away feeling like? You know, is it disappointment or are you happy that you finished fourth in the world? Oh, it's a bit of, bit of mixed feelings, really. I mean, I'm disappointed. Obviously, I really wanted to get a medal. That was a goal. But, I mean, you can't complain. Fourth in the world is a great effort, too. So, yeah. Yeah, well done. Thank you.